Praise God and welcome to Testimony Corner. I am Rachel Kimanthi and we have an exciting, an exciting testimony today from our sister here. And I pray that even as she shares, you shall be encouraged and your faith shall be strengthened. Hi. Hi. Could you please kindly introduce yourself? My name is Jambi Dennis. Dennis is my husband and so I go by Jambi Dennis. Wow. Okay. So, uh, are you a member of this church, Njambi? Yes, I'm a member of this church. I, 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 became, I joined Maranatha in 2015. So, I'm a member and a partner of this church. You are among the loyal members that you have in CLJ Maranatha, huh? You could say that. Wow. <laughs> so, Sister Njambi, could you briefly just tell us uh, what happened to you and your family during the COVID season? Uh, we 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 were pregnant at that time, and we lost everything just before we gave birth. We lost our home, we lost our jobs went like that. The way things were happening, but uh, by the grace of God, we were housed by our mom. Uh, by our mom, I mean our my mom-in-law, and yeah, so that's what we, that is what we called home. Wow. Wow. So during this tough season that you were going through, how was your relationship with the church and uh, with God generally? It was, um, it was a, 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 an awakening moment. We have to talk, it was, you know, as a Christian, first you have to re try and recompose yourself. And yeah. Order. So after recomposing yourself, then you tell yourself that this is an awakening moment. God is showing you something through this. So by that, we... I, like I said, I was pregnant, so I gave birth and I was at home looking after the baby. But my husband kept on serving and serving and serving. Wow. Yeah. Wonderful. And uh, what would you say kept you going during this time? A lot kept me going because um, with this, come this altar, this altar of CLJ Maranatha, I have gotten married through this altar. I have gotten babies through this altar. Wow. I have gotten jobs. I've gotten amazing. A lot of things have come have yeah. from this altar. So it's the words that have declaration and the words that have come from this altar that kept us going. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. So you received the word, you stood by it, and uh, that was it for you, right? Uh, yes. Yes, that was it. I, I received the word believed it and made the word work for me so what you're saying is you received the word you stood on it and a um, testimony was birthed yes so tell us tell us the testimony now the juicy part the juicy part is that i received a word from the man of god during an online service during the time he was in ghana for the time for the uh, times and tokens and as i received that word i believed it was mine given the fact that how the event turned out that i happened to be in service that day uh -huh. i believed that what the word was mine i received the word seeded for the word and continued declaring the word upon my life and it came to pass amen yeah. now to the testimony so the word was uh, something is going to happen within two months uh -huh. and from the time that the, the i received the word it's by the end of November, something did happen. Wow. I got a call, an international call, and they were calling me, me, who I thought I was not qualified, but God qualified me Amen. for a job in their company. Amen. Yeah. Are you seeing an international organization? Yes. It called an, you for a job? Yes. Wow. Yes. And wow. I, it shows God was, just, God was in the business for me from the day one. Because how the event of the, how how to how I, how it started by me going to, into the interviews and being recruited into that company, it was the hand of God. It was purely the hand of God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So your life has uh, drastically changed right now from being homeless. You have a home right now. Yes. From being paid, I'm sure previously in Kenya shillings, <laughs> to right now being paid in dollars. Amazing. Glory to God. What a testimony. Yeah, it is a testimony. Yeah, because uh, the people of God normally go through a lot of things. So many tough seasons. Yeah. And uh, what is it that you would want to share with the people of God just to encourage them? I would say that 
words, declarations will always be declared. But when you come from home and you're coming to service, ask yourself, what are you going to get? Because it is in that, if you have to be true to yourself. You don't, not, just don't make church a routine. Make church a place where it, you are fed. Amen. Let it be a place we know that I, I, as I have come, I cannot go out empty. Amen. I cannot go out empty and Amen. my life cannot remain the same. Amen. Yeah. Be expectant. Be expectant. Amen. Yes, and make the declarations work. Declare the declaration until they come to pass. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. There you have it. Don't make church a routine. Declare the declarations. Stand on the word of God. And in due season, your miracle will come to pass. Thank you. <laughs>